to another edition of HPTV News. My name is Lily Madsen. And I'm Franny Carroll. Welcome back from our first three days weekend of the school year. We hope you are feeling refreshed and ready for an exciting week of learning ahead of us. Each month at High Point School, we focus on a character trait and work to show that character trait every day. For the month of September, we will be focusing on the character trait of courage. What is courage? Courage is showing strength and bravery when you are scared. A person is courageous when they face difficult situations but never give up. Let's go to our field reporters who are with some High Point students to find out how they have shown courage. I'm here with Luke. Can you tell us a time that you showed courage? One time I, when I showed courage is when I went on this ropes course in Wisconsin Dells. I'm here with Sophia. Can you tell us a time you showed courage? A time I showed courage was when I was at my ballet recital. There were a lot of people there and um, it was a smaller team. I had a couple places where I was the only one dancing in that um, recital. So um, I was nervous about that, but I did it. I'm here with Juliana. What was one time you showed courage? One time I showed courage was when I went on a roller coaster in Universal, and I don't like roller coasters, but I went on it anyways. I'm here with Gavin. What was one time you showed courage? Um, when I was on a zip line, it was like 150 feet up in the air, and it was over um, a lake, and my shoe almost got stuck on a tree. It's almost time for our student council elections. Every year, one representative from each classroom is elected to be on the High Point Student Council. The student council meetings are on nine Wednesdays throughout the whole school year after school to plan spirit days, fundraisers, and other events that help our school and community. If you are interested in running for the student council representative in your class, the permission forms are due on Friday and you will give your speech in front of the class next week. Your teacher will give you more details soon. Let's go to our field reporters who are with a former student council member to find out more about what student council does. I'm here with members from last year's student council to find out more. Lily, what, what was your favorite activity from student council last year? Um, my favorite activity was probably the bake sale. Raina, what was your favorite activity last year? My favorite activity was when we made like the signs, like all the signs and the posters because it was really fun decorating them. What was your favorite activity from last year? Uh, my favorite activity was probably the bake sale because it was really fun to like exchange stuff and it was really fun to give people the donuts and stuff. Um, also a really fun activity that we did was we got to... Uh, pick out all the spirit days, which was really fun, and you get to like make up your own sometimes. Sandra, do you have any advice for kids when they're writing their speech? Humor is key. Um, I would say like make it exciting, or like they'll lose interest and stop listening, and then they'll vote for somebody else. And you wanna have like a lot of pictures going with what you're saying so they can look at that while you're reading. Don't be like shy like it's just your class and you want to like really talk and don't be so quiet because if you're so quiet they're not knowing what you're saying and probably not going to vote for you because they won't hear all the important stuff so don't be shy because it's your class. And when you're reading your speech make sure you're not just like staring at your paper the whole time and like every once in a while you like still look up and make eye contact with like kids in your class and your teacher. Um, when you're presenting, try to have a lot of pizzazz, and like Raina said, don't be shy, and I recommend to have a poster in a slideshow. This Thursday is School Picture Day. Wear something nice and smile your best smile. Congrats to everyone who finished the Summer Reading Challenge. They are...
Thanks for tuning in. This has been Isabel, Franny, Lily, and Emma signing off. Have a wonderful day. This newscast brought to you by the High Point Media Team.